Welcome to Global Defense. The recent incident involving Russia's Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B stealth drone shot down over Ukraine by its own forces has turned into a major embarrassment for the Russian Air Force. This high-profile mistake has drawn significant attention, not only for the mishap itself, but also for what it might reveal about Russia's much-publicized stealth technology. The S-70 Okotnik B was developed as a prototype stealth combat drone intended to operate in conjunction with Russia's new Su-57 Felon fighter jet. However, when the drone malfunctioned, the Su-57 was ordered to destroy it, leading to a cascading series of events that have exposed potential weaknesses in Russia's defense capabilities. After the drone was downed, Russia took swift action to obliterate the wreckage. An Iskander missile, a powerful and expensive ballistic weapon, typically reserved for high-priority targets, was launched at the crash site in an attempt to ensure that no remnants of the drone would fall into enemy hands. This indicates how desperate Russia was to prevent the West from gaining access to the S-70s technology. However, by the time the missile was fired, Ukrainian forces had already managed to salvage key components from the wreckage. These parts are now under analysis, and the findings may be particularly embarrassing for the Russian military. What makes this incident significant is not just the loss of an advanced drone, but the potential revelations about the limitations of Russia's stealth technology. Stealth technology, or signature reduction, aims to make aircraft less visible to radar detection by using specific design elements and materials. The West has been developing stealth technology since the 1970s, with the United States leading the way through projects like the F-117 Nighthawk. Early U.S. stealth programs were shrouded in secrecy, and any incidents involving stealth aircraft, such as crashes, were closely managed to ensure that no sensitive information could be leaked. In contrast, Russia has only recently made significant claims regarding its stealth advancements. The Su-57, marketed as a next-generation stealth fighter, is supposedly built with materials and coatings that make it nearly invisible to radar. The S-70 drone, designed alongside the Su-57, was also claimed to use advanced stealth techniques. However, the downing of the S-70 and the subsequent Ukrainian retrieval of its components could potentially expose major flaws in Russia's claims. This incident provides Western analysts with an opportunity to study how Russia's stealth technology operates and, more importantly, how it might be defeated. One of the critical concerns is that Western engineers might now be able to determine the radar wavelengths that the S-70 is designed to evade and identify the angles from which it remains detectable. This could severely undermine the drone's usefulness, as it would become far easier to target and neutralize in combat. More alarmingly for Russia, uh, the same stealth principles used in the S-70 are likely applied to the Su-57 fighter jet. If the drone's stealth capabilities are compromised, it could mean that the Su-57's design is similarly flawed, diminishing its effectiveness in modern warfare. While there is some speculation that Russia was attempting to hide advanced technology, the more likely explanation is that their stealth capabilities may not be as advanced as they have claimed. There are already signs that Russia's stealth technology is not up to par with Western standards. For example, in 2023, Ukrainian engineers examined the remnants of a Russian KH-101 cruise missile, which was purportedly coated with radar-absorbing materials. Their analysis revealed that the missile had no such coating, calling into question Russia's broader stealth claims. Moreover, Western analysts who have seen images of Russia's Su-57 fighter were shocked by the aircraft's crude finish, which featured bare screw heads and rivets. Such imperfections could significantly increase the plane's radar signature, undermining its stealth capabilities. For true stealth, aircraft surfaces need to be meticulously smooth, as even small protrusions can reflect radar waves and make the aircraft more detectable. By comparison, Western stealth aircraft like the B-2 bomber undergo rigorous maintenance to ensure that their radar-absorbing surfaces remain flawless. This incident could lead to a broader realization within Russia's defense establishment that their stealth technology is not as effective as they had hoped. As information from the Ukrainian analysis becomes public, the Russian leadership might soon face the uncomfortable truth that their invisible 
drones and fighter jets are far from being undetectable. Thank you for listening to Global Defense. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and share this with others.